Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Faith Walkers. <sighs> you see the crowd going wild? At least I am. Hold on. Let me try some. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying some new stuff this morning. I'm so excited. Um, hopefully you can see that there's new branding. Um, I want to make sure that my audio sounds okay. Good morning, Janine. And I am so excited about all the things that God is showing me and that I just need to honor and, and surrender to. And I'm excited about that. So check out our new branding. I'm excited about the Faith Walkers, where each morning, Monday through Friday, um, we come in and we give practical application of the word of God so that we can walk by faith and not by sight. So let me go ahead and pray with us as we jump into our message today. Um, it is something that I I'm actually doing because I've, I'm get, as I'm leading the whole Get Naked with God, God is revealing things to me. And so I'm walking that out. And so this morning he gave me some practical application of things that we need to do daily to activate our faith. So let me go ahead and pray with us and then we'll jump into the word of God today. Lord, we thank you so much for being an awesome on-time God. Lord, you are faithful, you are amazing, and you do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever even imagine at times. And so God, today we surrender our will to your way. We accept our assignments and I pray that as I share this gospel that you are glorified more than, than my words. And so dear God, I pray that people, as a result of hearing Hearing this message, seek into the word of God to see how it is that you're speaking to their heart with this information today so that it is practical, it is applicable, and that they can take immediate action. So we thank you, God, for all that you're doing and all you will continue to do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Ida Lynn. Um, if I said it twice, I'm going to say it twice. Good morning, Janine. And so today's message, hold on, I got background noise. Okay, so today's message today, although I hear myself and it sounds a little uh, muffled, my sound does, and I don't really know how to fix that right at this moment. So we're going to say focused on what we're focused on, which is delivering the word today. Good morning, Stephanie. And so today's topic is called Activate the Vision. And the way that God gave it to me is like, you know, we talk so often about Habakkuk 2.2, which says, write the vision, make it plain on tablets. That's what the King James Version says. That's what we run with. And that's what we want to do. We definitely want to write the vision. But then the question is, how do you activate the vision? We know that in James, it talks about faith without works is dead, but that's like easier said than done. At least it has been for me as God has been transitioning me to new spaces is that it's easier said than done. And so the question is, how do you do that? How do you activate your faith? How do you do things daily so that you can be the best version of who God created and desires for you to be? And so what do you want me to share with you today? Today is a teaching day. Um, so if you got a piece of paper and a pen, I would encourage you to write this stuff down or come back to it. But there are some practical steps that we can take to be intentional about activating our faith every single day. And so the first thing is, is imagining the vision. So Proverbs 23, 7 in the King James Version says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Let me say that again. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. And that is Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, the seventh verse is the beginning of that in the King James transla translation. And so what does it mean? Like, you know, imagine the vision. So what I would encourage you to do is for a couple of minutes every day, if you have written the vision down and made it plain, go somewhere quietly. And I want you to imagine your life as if not what it is in its current circumstances, imagining it as if, so that you can begin to think thoughts that connect to, again, your actions. And it starts with our mindset. And I was sharing earlier this week, even just yesterday, that for me, my vision is I need to be a, as good of a receiver, I mean, as good of a giver as I am a receiver, or I need to be as good of a receiver as I am giver. Because it's real easy for me to give, but it still is a struggle for me to receive. Good morning, Tamala. Good morning, Shannon. And so I want to ask you, like, is that when you hear that concept, is it easier for you to give, 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 like give to your almost to where it's like not even good for you to give versus receive? And I mean, receiving things as simple as a compliment. It's just hard. And I know I'm repeating myself because I believe this is what God is showing me is that, again, we need to have practical applications of how we can activate our faith. And so the first thing is imagining the vision, shutting your eyes and doing an exercise where you see yourself 
connected and doing the things that you would be doing if this vision came to pass. Because again, sometimes when we have that vision, it's hard to stay motivated every day if it seems like it's very, very far away. And so the next thing is speaking life to your vision. Again, that is the second piece. First, we want to imagine it. But when we're in that quiet place, we want to start using I am statements. And then what we know in Proverbs 18, 21, what does it say? It says, and this was again in the message version, which I thought was a great translation of this because normally it says for the life of um, speaking life, oh, I'm saying it the wrong way. But the way that it says in the message version is words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. So the the other translation that you'll hear often is the power of life and death is in the tongue. I like the message message version because it gets to the point. It said words kill, words give life. They are even poison or fruit. You choose. And that's the beauty of God, that you literally can choose each day. What am I going to speak life to? So if you have those I am statements, if you have those I am statements written, then you can say things. And like for me this morning, I literally wrote some out. I said, I am a child of the king. I am a great wife. I'm an amazing mom. Like I need to start saying these things. It says, um, I'm an ambassador of Christ with the influence that gives God glory. I am a generous giver and receiver. And so I literally like that will be my affirmation that I will say to myself every day, because right now, if God is trying to transition you and you're still reacting to your current situation and you're not speaking life to where God wants to take you, then you can see why this could be a conundrum, right? It could not be what God wants it to be because you're focused on where you are and not where God wants you to be. So again, that is the second part of this activating your faith and doing this stuff every single day, seven days a week. Maybe you need to do it multiple times a day. Uh, Give me a number one. If you're willing to say I'll at least do it once a day, but I know that I might be in a season where I have to say it multiple times of the day. And so then the third thing is do one thing daily that aligns with your I am statement. This is the way that we behave like we believe. We behave like we believe. And the scripture and the passage that is really the key verse for today comes out of James, the second chapter, the 14th through the 17th verse. And it says, what good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith, but no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you say to him, go in peace, keep warm, well-fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In that same way, faith by itself, if it is not accomplished with actions, it is dead. Meaning that if we do these things, if we're saying that we want to have faith and works, then we need to do these things to activate our faith connected to the vision that God has shown us. And this can be a struggle. It can be a struggle. And I thank you all who are saying, yes, good morning, cousin Tony. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Jonathan. Like this can be a struggle to say, how do I intentionally activate my faith every day? Maybe sometimes all day. Like yesterday, after I got off the morning message, I literally all day kept saying to myself, I am a, I can receive the blessing, God. I can receive it. I need to be a better receiver. I need to be a receiver so that when people will say stuff or they want to pour into me, I could receive things that are different than what I'm normally accustomed to. And I can't say that it's not going to be uncomfortable in the beginning. But what I do know is is that if I'm asking God to help me to be a better version than what I am today, I need to speak life to activate the vision. I know that I do. Oh, thank you so much, Jonathan, for, for writing that verse right there. I appreciate you. I think if that's the right one. I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, I do think that it's important. It's important for us as we activate the vision to do these things daily. The first thing, again, is imagining the vision. The second step is to speak life to the vision with I am statements. The third step is to do one thing daily that aligns to the vision so that you can remind yourself that becomes the new habit. You replace old habits with new behaviors. And the way that you do it is you speak life to it and saying, I am, 
I want everybody before we even sign off today, because this is something that we should be able to universally agree with is I am a child of the king. Like everybody here should be able to say that statement. And that in itself is packed with so much truth, because if I am a child of the king and if I am made in the image of God, then I can't walk around being defeated and dumbfounded and distracted and just being detoured from the things that God is calling me to. So that's the statement I want us all to corporately agree is that I am a child of the king. And so when you say that one statement alone, if you can't think of anything else that you are, you want to say, you know what? I am a child of the king and I am a faith walker who has now faith, now faith, today faith, activating it right now. And if this exercise feels uncomfortable, if you begin with who you are initially, even before we were formed in our mother's wombs, then we can start saying the I am statements in other areas. And this is what I want you to know. Don't get tripped up when the enemy puts limiting beliefs in your head. Because even when I was writing my I am statements, there's some of them that I wrote that are just for me. And I wrote them I, those I am statements just for me because they're connected to some of the goals and then the vision that God has for me. But I'm going to say them all out loud in my space, when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm going to say to myself, I am, and I'm going to say every single one of those things. I may even be bold enough to make it my screensaver on my phone so that when I do something that does not respond or isn't connected to who I am and who God says I am, then I know I need to do something that's different. And so I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage somebody today that is hearing this word and you may feel defeated. You may feel like I'm less than, and I don't care what Latasha is saying this morning. I know she's saying that, but this is how I feel. I know that feelings can't be dismissed, but I know that feelings can also be transformed when you have more confidence in Christ. I was having a conversation with my sister yesterday and I was saying to her, I was like, right now, I'm so thankful for that heart and headspace that I'm in. I'm so confident in Christ that no matter what he calls me to do, if somebody has an opinion and my, the Holy Spirit does not show me that it's in alignment to what he's called me to do, it doesn't defeat or make me feel less than. It just makes me know that I need to go back to my I am statements and reminding myself that I am still a child of the king and I am still more than a conqueror and I am made in the image of God. So whatever they're saying, if they wouldn't align those adjectives up to what God is, then they're not talking about me. Did you, did you hear that? And, and I don't see any I am statements over there. So I want to see them over in the chat. Thank you, Janine. I am a child of the king. Amen. Like we need to walk that and we need to talk that and we need to say that statement alone because it is jam packed with so much, so much. And I'm grateful for what God is showing me and how do you activate your faith doing these things daily that they become a part of your rituals and mantras. You start speaking different things to yourself. You might need to say them in the morning. Say them at night. So it's the last thing. It's the first thing that you say in the morning in, in your gratitude piece. And it's the last thing that you say at night, because I know we serve an awesome, amazing God. And he responds to the voice of his children. But sometimes we can't respond to him because we don't know him. We don't know him like that. I will tell you how good God is. Yesterday, um, oh, I went out and I was walking with my sister-in-law. And so I went and I was looking for one of my AirPods. And I was just like, Oh my gosh, I lost one. And so on our walk, I was sitting up there saying to myself, my immediate reaction was, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to replace it, but no worries. And then what happened was I literally got back in a car and I was like, God, help me to know where this, this air pod is. And it was like the Holy Spirit said, don't you remember that the key, we have a little shelf that holds our keys. It had fallen. He said, go look in the garage because it's right there. I was like, Really? And guess what? When I went back, it was right there. I couldn't fret. I couldn't worry. And so what I was saying as that experience happened, I said, God, increase my, my faith in other areas. So the same confidence that I had when I made that request is the same confidence that I have in the things that I need to do daily to remind myself of who I am, not based on who I think I am, but who you say I am. And I love that. And I love God. 
for reminding me of all of this because I'm just so excited about what God is doing. Thank you so much, Shannon, for actually writing. I am a healthy and whole physically and emotionally and spiritually. Amen. So we got to be excited about that. At least I, I am. Like, I am so excited about what God is and will continue to do. I hope that you can join in with me on the excitement. And so, dear God, we thank you so much for reminding us through the gospel how we are to activate our faith, things we are to do daily so that we can defeat the devil by believing it, becoming it, and showing the world who we are, not based on what we think, the little things we think about ourselves, but the big person that you made us to be because we're connected to a kingdom and a sovereign God. And so we are thankful. We are happy. We are rejoiced. We have peace beyond all understanding. And we still can say we are more than a conqueror and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And all we need right now is to remind ourselves that if it's hard for us to activate our faith, reminding ourselves that the word says all we need is the faith of a mustard seed. And so, dear God, I know that somebody right now, that's all the faith that they have is that of a mustard seed. But I also know that you say that when two or three are gathered in your name, that you are in the midst. And so, God, I pray for new relationships, transform relationships so that their faith and somebody else's faith can come together and activate an even bigger faith. And so, God, I thank you. I thank you right now for being awesome and amazing and available. And so I appreciate you. I appreciate any person under the sound of my voice, but I pray that they get more connected to the gospel as a result of this experience. And so Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise today. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Have a great day. I love you guys. God bless and have an amazing, great day. See you again tomorrow.